New game. Who am I going to be? Nervous says I'm correct. Okay, good. Velma. Fred. Fred is here. He specializes in howling and growling. <laughs> Folks, we have barricaded ourselves in the computer lab, not letting anyone else in. We locked the doors at 9, and we are staying here all day, and we are playing Shockwave, fl uh, not Flash games, Macromedia Shockwave games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what yeah. we're doing today. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Multimedia Monday. Let's kick the week off right. Uh, we're locking ourselves in that computer lab. Mm -hmm. and they let us install Macro Macromedia Director. <laughs> we're not coming out until we play every single Shockwave game, so I hope you have every single one of them ready today, Alex. I don't, oh. but I do have 30 games. I don't know if we'll get through them all, but oh we'll God. try to get through them. That is too many. Holy crap. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. Oh, happy birthday, Fidget. Oh, happy birthday. Happy Macromedia Monday. Yeah. <laughs> kind of, it kind of is Macromedia Monday lately. Oh, my head is not screwed on right, but hopefully we will be able to fix that and I can prepare for the week ahead with these educational Flash games. Well, Shockwave games, and they're not educational. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Alex, fix me. Do your thing. Okay, it's my turn. Um, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. No. Uh, thank you, The Ultimo, for the 33-month resub. Happy Shockwave Day. The Shockwave files were all stolen by the tech lords. Damn Good. It. Thank you. Now, some of these might be edutainmental, but... Um, <laughs> edutainmental. Listen, none of our heads are correct. Yeah. So, but some of these, but most of these are not. You will learn something, and it's mostly that Shockwave can do 3D. Yeah. Which it can. That's actually the big difference between Shockwave and Flash is that um, Shockwave was the first one to naturally have uh, 3D capabilities. It actually came before Flash. Real quick. Uh, thank you, Teeter Tatter, for the 23-month resub. Very excited for Macro Monday is Falco here. Thank um, you for the sub. <laughs> Moving and, on. Thank you to Inari Fox for the 33-month resub. Getting closer and closer to three years. Happy Shockwave Day. Thank you. Happy Shockwave. So, uh, Let's do this. Real quick history lesson. Shockwave came out before Flash. Uh, it was uh, created by Macromedia as a uh, way to create uh, multimedia games. It was used mostly for CD-ROM games for a mm. long time. Yeah. Then... Um, People started to develop web games for it. Um, again, it naturally has uh, let you use vectors. It has a 3D engine built in. And uh, yeah, so uh, Flash came pretty close after 1996 or so. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing, but uh, did not have 3D inbuilt capabilities until around 2005. So Shockwave was mostly used for 3D web games and for uh, CD-ROM multimedia games as well. So it's a very, very multimedia platform. I see. So this will be a little bit more technically advanced than the Flash games we've seen, or...? Kind of. Kind of. Um, uh, we won't do Explorer 1 today. Sorry, sorry. We're only going to be doing web-based Shockwave games. We're not going to be doing any CD-ROM games. we got to go back to Explorer 1 someday. Yeah, we will. I have the we U.S. Will. Special Edition. i got to... I gotta trot it out at every opportunity so you everyone do. can be impressed at my collection. <laughs> but well, the, there aren't any physical games in this collection. No. This is all digital games via Flashpoint. Mm -hmm. And Alex, let's I think get you started. have some games to play, so let's do it. <laughs> all right. So first off is 17 Keys, uh, according to Flashpoint. This was done by Insight Interactive. Okay. Let's see if they have any insight on how to make a good game. Walk is W, run is S. Mm -hmm. Turn that down a little. There we go. Let's go. All right. So uh, I'm just going to be playing again. This is a real random assortment of games. Just uh, stuff that I think really shows off the platform. Um. Yeah. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Noble Liam? Yeah. Holy fuck. <laughs> Sorry. I. There we go. 17 keys. Wow, now that's an intro. Whoa. Whoa. It's in 3D. Look at this. D 
Is this, is this that M. Dickey game where you're all on an island and everyone can't stop fighting? Yes. <laughs> Good. So you can also turn with the mouse. See? This also reminds me a little bit of uh, the old RuneScape. Just a little. A little bit. Oh my god, your inventory's huge! Yeah, uh... I'm gonna count... I found a tree. There's I... 17... <laughs> 17 slots per row and three rows. And you need to find 17 keys. Okay, so one of the rows is nothing but keys. Mm -hmm. And then you have 34 other items to find. You also have a limited, uh... You also need to keep yourself watered and fed. Oh, did it say this is food? Cool. Yeah, you, there is food that you need. Yeah, I didn't know Shockwave could do this. This is a 1994 platform, you said? Yeah, and it kept developing. Um, it was technically, sh there was like, uh, Shockwave was the player, director is what you use to make these games, but... Hey, Ultra Pancake, enjoy Welcome. the chocolate milk. I wish I had some chocolate milk. So, yeah, you collect keys. Uh, my goal is to not die go this way you can see your health uh how much fire you have left and i think that is water it has a sustenance meter so it is very <laughs> much like that m dicky uh what was that game called shipwrecked i think that was i don't remember I something like that, that. so yeah find the keys also getting a little bit of a don't starve vibe here mm -hmm. oh, hey, there's can you set keys. the entire environment on fire like in that game you know what let me try okay there is an attack. Yeah, very N64 quality. There's some, uh... <laughs> the poly count is obviously lacking, but that gives it a distinct look, I think. Mm-hmm. Are those abs that you have, or is it just weird polygon seams? Um, I think those... If it'll let me turn forward, it won't, but... Ugh. Oh, I want cheese curls. Ah, God! Oh, my God! Ah! Holy shit! I died. <laughs> All right, and then. that is 17 keys. Uh, <laughs> Flubber killed me. Flubber just I, Flubber me. killed the shit out of you. Killed by Oogie Boogie. I like when games have a really definitive ending. Like, yep, that dude is dead. He is so dead, and it's your fault. 17 keys. All right, that's one of the most cursed things I've ever seen. And that was just your, your starting off game. So we'll see how the next 30 games are. Next up is a game I actually did play as a child. I've been looking for this game for years. Alley Cat. Okay. Alley Cat. Let's make sure it's... Ooh! There we go. Alley Cat Blues. Ah, the game tricked you. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good trick, Alley Cat. Is it going to resize when you start the game, too? God, it better not. Turn that up a little bit. Uh, do we want to be Spooky, Lucy, Tabby, Hairball, or Jimmy? I like Jimmy. I like Jimmy, too. So, uh, this oh game. Oh my god, it's a platformer. It is. Or should I say catformer? I used to play the shit out of this. So while this... While catformer! <laughs> So, so while Macromedia Shockwave was most was like you know had these amazing 3D capabilities, I'm gonna be honest, most it's mostly used for shit like like you would do with Flash games. It wasn't, yeah, you're not getting a lot of groundbreaking stuff here. Shockwave rankings? Well, I mean, there's nothing stopping us. We could put this game on our Mascot Friday list. We could. So I I love this game. This game was on Shockwave Arcade. Does anybody remember Shockwave Arcade? I bet you some people here do. It was exactly, exactly what you think it is. It was literally a website just of Shockwave games, and... I like the screen transitions. I do, too. I really like this game. It's like the most simple platformer, but it's really fun. It's fine. It works. Mm -hmm. It's charming. It's got cats in it. Mm -hmm. I wish the cat could steal the laundry for bonus points. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who remembers the... Uh, shockwave arcade i just so i hate the way the cats die i want to say that they they, they don't <laughs> land on their feet they land on their head oh no that's terrible it is right and you have like you have nine lives so you've got plenty of lives but oh thank you the ultimo for the 100 bit hold on i have to wait for my oh no 
I don't want the. Okay. Okay. Candy Stan was the Ultimo's uh, junior high jam. Thank you, Ultimo. Yes, thank you. And yeah, this uh, saved a lot of school kids back in the day from boredom. Candy Stand used a, uses a lot of Shockwave. They like for most mostly for their 3D stuff. I don't think I have any candy. Nabisco World was candy. a different thing. Hmm? Was Nabisco World a different thing? I think so. Alex, I think do, you, it was. do you have any idea of what you're doing in this game? I'm going. I'm platforming. You're using open windows to jump from flat to flat. No, 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 no. Do not bring up Not a Surf's cat song. <laughs> <laughs> the theme song from Cats DS. The ultimate uh, video game song about being a cat. And... and also our most popular video on YouTube by a huge margin. People love that. I wonder if it's gotten a million views yet. Let me go look. No. Oh, Okay. I'm doing pretty good. Cats DS theme. All right. So I got three lives left. I may... I may do this. I may, I may find... 261,000 views. Damn, so close. Not bad, not bad. We'll make it to a million. Thanks, everybody, for looking that up, too. You can confirm <laughs> that we have a hit video that uses someone else's music. Not a surf, don't sue. We're nice. They can handle it. They got residuals from, what was that song, Popular? Oh, my God. Yeah, you can. It's Cats D. Yes, it's popular. Not a surf tribute band called Full of Surf. <laughs> No copyright intended, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Secret words. All right. How many lives do I have left? One. No. Oh. And I immediately... Okay. Here we go. Last life. This is it. These platforms are moving. Okay, that was bullshit. You fell right through that I platform. I fell through the platform. Yeah. I'm going to call that bullshit. Uh, Alley Cat. That didn't seem too bad. Yeah, Alley Cat's cute. I really like... I played this game a lot. A it lot a, as a child. It was a nice little low-impact game to keep you entertained mm -hmm. when you don't want to listen to the teacher. Well, speaking of not listening to teacher, it's time for... Uh, what is this? Animorphs Hawk Rescue. Now, I'm showing you this because... Uh -huh. You know this is all about blowing your mind. I just, I just want you to see this. Alright, this is published by Scholastic. I wonder if this is a, a, a shockwave game you can get from the book fair. Hold on, I need to adjust this. Wow, presented in Cinemascope. That stretched enough. Yeah, okay. And... Click to play. Let's do it. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Thanks for your patience, folks. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my so god. So we have to uh Are you rescue... sure this isn't Newgrounds? Are you sure this is Scholastic? This is it's fine. It's just, it, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh thank you Rio Dis for the 7 month resub Shockhawk. That's what this is. All right. I'm shocked. Thank you. Here we go. So click on the left mouse button to fire maple flavored oatmeal and make the enemy disappear. Halt. Halt. That's that's really Replenish your power by grabbing barrels of oatmeal. Now that's... keep your keen hawk eyes on the lookout for keys. Yeah, but Grab keys with your talons by flying directly over them. You need four keys to release the animorphs. While you're sure, playing, but... be careful not to move the mouse too much or you won't be able to control the hawk. What they mean there is that if your mouse escapes the window or whatever, you will uh, you won't be able to play the game. If right. you're firing but no ammo is coming out, you probably need to move your mouse so you're back in the game screen. <laughs> Thank you, Fire Mountain, for the 11 months. Wow. wow is what I have to say about this. What does oatmeal have to do with anything? It's fine. Okay. Grab oatmeal and key. All right. Official game by Scholastic. Are you shitting me? You're, you're a massive hawk, just gobbling up the biggest, biggest barrels of oatmeal as you shoot. I don't even know what it is you're yerks. shooting. You're shooting yerks. What are yerks? They you can are... shoot the food. Yeah, you can shoot your food. You have to be careful. Yeah, doesn't your oatmeal come from a barrel? All right, let's go to level two. Now we have to work out, watch out for the yurks and the taxons. I, those aren't things. It's okay. We can just shoot your oatmeal at it. 
<laughs> some really good facts about animorphs being uh, shared in chat. Thank you, Tank Catable, for the 100 bits. That key wasn't particularly hidden. Yeah, they're just kind of all over the no, place. No, the keys aren't hidden at all. I hear Animorphs is pretty dark. It's extremely dark. I tried to read some of it, like, uh, a couple years ago because I just found a couple of the books. And these kids go through it, man. They get... they These kids have war PTSD. Are you sure you're not an Andalite bandit? Prepare for level 30. Are you sure, Alex? I'm Whoa, sure, cool but I might dragon. be a hork bajir. You are 100% a hork bajir. Absolutely. Okay. Look at them. Look at the hork bajir, though. They're yeah. just kind of... <laughs> They're hanging out. They're just loitering. That's hey, their only my... crime. There we go. My thing got out of the window. Oh, you escaped from the window, just yeah. like they said that you would. <laughs> yeah, these enemy illustrations. I don't... I don't... Yeah, I'm horking, too. I'm horking all over the place. You're almost One there. Level. Oh and my god, are you gonna beat game. this? Yeah. Holy shit. Now we want... In this level, by the way, is impossible. Also, now there are blade ships. Alright, cool. You can do it. So the keys spell out F-O-L... What's the last one? K? For animal folk. I'm gonna assume it's D for folding. Fold? Do they fold? Well, we all kind of fold, don't we? Yeah. When I don't have enough oatmeal, I just tend to fold immediately. Oh, God damn it! I shot the oatmeal. I can't believe you shot the hork and oatmeal. We made it to the yerk pool. Yes. Are you excited? It's yeah. full. F That's not what I was expecting. You made it to the yerk pool. <laughs> Now, to unlock the cell and free the Animorphs, unscramble the four keys to spell an animal's name. Change letters by clicking on arrows. When you think you've got a right, right combination, hit the enter button. I now think hurry. it's I think it's Loft W. Okay. I'm going to try something else. Is that okay? Yeah, all right. Okay. Oh, I guess that works, I too. I freed the Animorphs. Oh, Foul would have also worked. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I'm You're a, tr a true Animorph warrior. Using your brain power and Tobias's speed, you saved the Animorphs once again. And you got 70-50 points. That's uh, the official Animorphs That's the, game. That, I recognize that font now. It's the freaking PlayStation 3 font. Yeah. <laughs> They've been shoving it in my face the entire time, and I was like, where is that from? So, uh, what do you think? You got 70-50 points and PTSD, so congratulations. Hell yeah. Animorphs. <laughs> Animorphs, Hawk Rescue. Which one of those kids grew up to be Papa Roach? <laughs> All of them. Next up is a game published by Dan and Yogurt called Back to the Cool Box. Okay. Dan and my favorite... My least favorite yogurt publisher. Hold on. Hold on. Did the game Wolf Whistle at you as, like, its, yeah. its introduction? Yeah. Okay. It's fine. So what do you think about the graphics? Um, this perspective. I don't know about this. The kids just... You can't lean on a kitchen counter like that. It doesn't work. You're defying all sorts of perspective, and you're just making every artist look bad. You, I don't, what do I, you think about the Dandens wiggle? What do you think about this movement animation? Oh, I didn't even look at the bottom half of the screen. Thank you, Nervous, for the 20-month resub. Hello, Flashro pals, and... From balmy London, what a nice, refreshing Dan one would help us all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm sending over the yogurt right away. All right, so this is Frogger, basically. Except <laughs> Team Voldemort. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! You can go back, but we big. saw we saw another piece of media featuring the famous Voldemort. Oh God! Over this weekend, we had a friend over, and we all watched Space Jam Two. A two-hour movie that needed to be uh, more like 70 minutes. Yeah, that was my noise that I made when I watched Space Jam 2. Is that... Is that... Did it freeze? Did you break it? Did I break it? <laughs> no. No, it's still hitting on you, so it's fine. Hey, by the way, once you get to the refrigerator, there's nothing you can do. Oh, you are the Dan and Yogurt. Yeah. Ah, oh, I see. And you're supposed to get yourself to the refrigerator, but once you get there, nothing. Interesting. I've tried everything. 
Thank you, Owen, for the two months. And then you slowly get fucking Much appreciated. pushed off. Thank you. Go to, go to the fridge. Pick yourself out some Dan and yogurt. Maybe I need to go to the child. Alex, I think this yogurt's been in the fridge too oh, long. Oh, oh, I was climbing it. Okay, okay. I'm going to try again. Climb the fridge and put yourself in the dog's mouth. Okay, I can climb. I can, I, I've, I've learned a new strat. That'll make the parents take the, uh, the dog to the vet, and then you can take over the house. Yeah, climb up the kid's leg. Get it all nice and yogurty. What happened? <laughs> How did I die there? Here we go. Do it. Climb. 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 I need a way for the thing so I can climb. Hold on. Oh, you climb up the fire mm -hmm. truck. And that's it. That's uh, Back to the Cool Box. One of the weirdest looking games I think I've shown on stream. Yeah. First of all, you play as Dan and Yogurt, and that's not even the most fucked up part. The kid, the dog. Who puts a washing machine right next to the again. fridge? Yeah, is there just a random kill plane? I don't know. I'm afraid I'd get drunk one night and put my laundry in the fridge. <laughs> I like how that's supposed to be like a dishwasher, but they're like dishwasher, washer and dryer, dogs, who cares? It's Do they have anything. washing machines in the kitchen in the UK? That could be it. These British people trying to imitate American life as best they can. Thank you, Whoop Von Whoop, for the 24 months. Is that two years? 24 months of what in the goddamn world? That yeah, is two, two years, years of this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, last life. Will I make it? All right. If I ever make my YouTube video about unlikely protagonists, I think uh, this will be in the top 10. Just a freaking cup of Dan and yogurt. Here you go. Oh, oh my God, God. I did it. How about another one? Holy shit. How about no? How about you quit on top? How yeah, about yeah, you don't I even did try? It. No, no one else play this game. It's done. You it's... figured out the secret of the Dan and yogurt uh, back to the ice box. What was it called? Cold box? Back to the cool box. No one calls it the cool box, damn it. <laughs> it's fine. All right. Next is a baby bottle pop dino dinner. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I got to totally resize this. This thing is huge. I think y'all are going to like this dino. This dino is really cute. Look at him. Baby Dino has an appetite for baby bottle pops. Find as many as you can before he throws a tantrum. All right, no tantrums here. We're gonna gonna get this done. I like this beep. So he looks pretty good. I remember these. You remember baby bottle pops? Yeah, I do. Thank you, Gordy, for the four months. Thank you. Your complimentary baby bottle pop is on the way. Alex, you're going to have to ship out a lot of things after this stream. I'm making a lot of promises. Yeah, I don't know if we can keep them, but we can try. <laughs> promises not actually valid. Don't believe anything Danny says. Thank you, Shine and Era, for the 10-month resub. Baby dinos are hungry. They are. Yeah, let's feed them. Okay, this should load. Let's. Did it freeze? Let's feed them. Did it freeze? I want my baby bottle pops. Well, there we go. Look at look at little. Look at this pickle. spore shit. <laughs> oh my god. This is the most advanced game I've ever seen in my life. It is a baby bongo. He has the hat and everything. Yes, okay. Dude, this track? Hey, I want you to know something. This game is fun. This looks fun, and the music's good. Are so good. I'm jamming. And again, it's a platformer. No, no. Okay, I got glued. I heard a gloop noise. Okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Is that a character from Panic? I'd believe it. So far, so good. This looks loud, but I'll allow it. 
Great job. Are there I, reused assets in this game? Those that bastards. Makes sense, yeah. How dare they? Yeah, the ba- the uh, the baby bottle pop meter like scrolling down is a nice uh, touch here because I know we all are. I know my baby bottle pop uh, meter is at zero right now. Yeah, that's one of the meters that <laughs> controls my body throughout the day. And I landed in the car. And, uh, I have a baby bottle pop no. meter. I have a ring pop meter. I have a Dunkaroos meter. And all of them are going unfilled today. Because he died. Should I play again? Do you all want to see this a little bit more? Let me let me hear this loop. Damn. Good one. Wow. Just a little bit more. Oh yeah, my gusher meter is empty too. Mm-hmm. Give me some gushers. I know that my, Dor- my Doritos uh, meter is zero. Is it negative, actually? I need to give people Doritos now. I ate like a whole party bag of nacho cheese Doritos like two months ago, so my Dorito meter is very full. Yeah, you're good. That only needs to happen like twice a year. Oh, yeah. We were looking for Flimbo in, uh... Somehow, Flimbo was one of the few characters who wasn't in Space Jam 2. I don't know why. I mean, if you're gonna include... The guys from, you know, Clockwork Orange, why not Flimbo? Why not Flimbo? Why not Flimbo? Everywhere kids are asking, where's Flimbo? Where's Flimbo? Where is Flimbo? I mean, sure, fans of the mask got what they wanted, but... Oh, insane. Flimbo fans have been suffering for decades. In fact, their lives are nothing but suffering. <laughs> I support every... Ah, oh, fuck. I support Loot. every Flimbo... And on their journey during this difficult anti-flimbo time. That aspect of the movie is not my fault, and you cannot blame me for it. That was a shocking thing to see. What, the Clockwork Orange guys? No. Okay, more people are mentioning it. Yeah, there's an Austin Powers thing. Yeah, I I did scream when that happened. I think I went, what? Yeah, we all screamed. I don't know if it was a scream of delight, I just want to say. I was believe it? I believe it was a scream where everyone just said no at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. More like no baby, no. I can't believe they ripped off Elmo's catchphrase like that. <laughs> okay, my goal is to get past uh level 2. Yeah, Rick and Morty are in there too. Oh yeah, I got myself uh some orange juice when that was happening. I was and I saw it and I was like, yeah, that's it. Bow, bow, bow. This looks really doable. This it looks is like, doable. This, uh, I'm going to call this a Klonoa killer. Because it's 2.5D. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ah. I like the generous checkpointing. I will say that's nice. That is pretty nice. Oh. Platforms. Okay. There was DC content. Yes. There was all sorts of content in that movie. Are you dead? No. Okay. Left. But I will be dead if I don't get any baby bottle pops soon. You better get me some baby bottle pops. I don't want to hear that they don't sell them no more. This is probably going to get rated on Mascot Friday. Once we decide to completely lose it and play Shockwave games. And that is Baby Bottle Pop uh, Dino Dinner. It is good. It is good. I like that. Well, uh, from one end of the spectrum to the other, this is epi- this is Batman and Superman Adventures World Findless World's Finest Gauntlet. Wow. This is episode number five. There are four others. I picked this one for a reason. So fresh off their appearance in uh, the new Space Jam, here is Batman and Superman Adventures. Hold on one second, just oh, one. our our bit rate dropped to zero as mm-hmm. it does. Mm-hmm. Okay, there it goes. That fixes it. Whenever I type bitrate please, it automatically gets fixed. So we want to play as Batman or Superman? Oh, what do we think? Folks, if you were to pick one character, would it be Batman or Superman? Is it Bats or Supes? Batman or Superman? The S you know or the what? B? I th- I'm thinking 
I'm thinking about Superman. Superman, Superman. Soups, okay. soups. Yeah, yeah. A, lot of, a lot of early votes for Superman, so let's so, go for it. So, E is punch. Right. Arrow keys are move. R is heat vision. And yeah. space is fly. All right, let's do it. All right. Do you remember how those other games looked, right? Are you ready for this? Uh-huh. Oh. Oh? Uh, oh! Oh! Superman, those rats, rats. Are, are huge, and they shoot kryptonite at you. <laughs> Giant laser rats. This is an official game, by the way. <laughs> I just want to be a pro with you. Okay, can I make this jump? Hey, I, <laughs> I usually don't. Again, online web games are 100 bits from Rio DC says bits rate. Thank you. Thank you. You fixed our bit rate. Fly through my rat ring, Superman. What do you think of the rats? I like the rats. You know, I never realized just how many rings were in Superman 64 until I saw Marooney play through the whole thing. There's seriously like 12 different levels where you have to fly through rings. I failed the challenge. What? How? Well, I got killed by rats. I got generated by rats. Let's try again. Solve the rats, Alex. Okay. Oh, we got at least one person who remembers this game. We're bringing back memories for single-digit numbers of people. <laughs> the rats, um... They don't appear to have a laser gun or anything. They're just kind of naturally shooting lasers from their eyes, it appears. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're laser rats. If you put it on easy, there's no rings at all? Maybe that's the definitive way to play Superman 64. Okay, so far so good. And yeah, it's just a sewer. They start you in the damn sewer fighting rats. Well, this is episode five, so this is the one that takes place in the sewer. The other episodes take place at different places. Oh, all right. Okay, please make this jump. Nice, nice. We also have requests to see Batman after you're, uh, yeah, I, assuming I, you die. Oh, I'm going to... no. <laughs> this is amazing. This might be the best Superman game. Nope! Nope, don't kill me. I'm good. It's not a Batman v Superman, it's a Batman and Superman game. They're friends, they're not yet fighting. Bruce Tim, see this game? He programmed it. He's not a programmer. I did it! Hey. Holy shit! Click anywhere to advance. Quick, Batman. Step two of our plan. I hold off these robots. Just, just, just long, long enough, enough for you to destroy the kid's power source. <laughs> their super technology to disabled and their power is returned. Finding and capturing those two will be no sweat. How did you know? Uh, something, something, supervision, frequency, mm -hmm. uh, the radiation uh, stuff. Yeah. That smoke screen? Yeah, it was the odd light and the equipment, the rest you know. Mm -hmm. I was able to trace it with my equipment, the rest you know. I'm starting to read English like I read Japanese. <laughs> Just read every tenth word, it's fine. Aw, oh, rip. We caught the kids. But let's play again as Batman. You successfully ran the gauntlet. Good work, Superman. Now let's put Batman through the ringer. Okay. Looks like Batman is just as capable as Superman. He literally is. This is just the same thing. I'm gonna see if I can just get to the end. Can you speedrun? Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes! Go, Batman, go! The DC Superhero Olympics. Can Batman do the sewer vault? Yes, he can. <laughs> Batman successfully right, vaulted over the so sewer. We've, we've killed rats as both Batman and Superman. I think that's pretty good. And then we I'm going to assume this is the full plot of the episode it's based on. Mm -hmm. Just running to the right and jumping over the, the sewer rivers. We, we did it. We call this the rat skip. We ran the rat gauntlet. Nice. Danny, would you like to play a game with me? 
Sure. You don't have to do anything except answer questions. Okay. So maybe we'll learn something with our next game. Bet your lifesavers, 90s edition. I don't want to bet my lifesavers. Well, according to the good people at Candy Stand, you gotta. <laughs> hey, it's time to play Bet Your Lifesavers, the TV trivia game. Player one, enter your name. Uh, my name is Gay Rat. Ow. Player two, Ow. enter your name. <laughs> my uh, name. Uh, your name. What do you want to be? My name is uh um. Oh, pick one for me. I have no imagination. Uh, small gay rat. Thanks. Small gay. <laughs> small gay, huh? Tunes and teases. So these are the categories. Minutes. Alien chatter. Special du jour. And all of these Lapa. are about TV. Uh, Player one. Pick your category. First one is about cartoons and advertisements. So I'm picking that Tunes one. Tunes and teases. For 1,000. Uh, that would be uh, one. Meanies. Good I one. Click. You are correct. Player two. Pick give your me a. Uh, give me laugh track. Okay. Laugh track. Thank you. I asked for 25 bits. They played this. Holy crap. What does that Bundy do for a living? He is a shoe salesman. Super. You are and happy correct. birthday, I asked. Yeah, happy birthday. Player Many one. birthdays Pick today. Your category. Tunes and teases. For 2,000. Uh, that would be Tiny Toon Adventures. Duckman. Player two. Pick your category. Uh, Alien Chatter. Alien Chatter for 1,000. Oh, I should be focusing on a single category. Uh, who is this? That would be, um, Oprah Winfrey. Excellent. Player one. That was excellent. Your category. What did that have to do with aliens? Tunes Oprah Winfrey is an alien. For three Interesting. Thousand. That explained the bees. Uh, that would you be Spike Lee. Player two, pick your category. Give me laugh track again. Laugh track for 2,000. Laugh track. Oh no, Murray. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Good job. Pick your category. Tunes and teases. Well, you know me. Tunes I'm mad teases. about mad about you. Four, you are. Four thousand. That would be. Uh, wow, I'm learning about all my favorite brands. Ah, I got it wrong. The correct answer is. That was four. Reebok. Damn. You gotta know your slogans. Pick your category. Give me tunes and teases. Tunes right. and teases. For one thousand. Oh, they give me just 1,000? Uh, that would be Ah, Real Monsters. I wish that was Doug. Pick your category. Tunes and teases for 5,000. 5,000? They live in a tree. That's a 5,000 point question? Pick your category. Laugh track. Laugh track for 3,000. Uh, that would be uh, not that one. Uh, Hope and Gloria. You are so wrong. Nope, it was uh, anything but love. God damn it! No one remembers that. I only know any. I only knew that Richard Lewis was in. I totally forgot that Jamie Lee Curtis was in. The you can't. Oh, you, you sapped out I... all the points from it. Okay. Uh... Laugh track. Laugh track. I'm sorry, I don't know my Richard Lewis. Oh, Niles, that's two. easy. Pick your category. Laugh track. Laugh track for four thousand. Ooh, 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 comic book. Super player one. Pick your category. I'll do sixty minutes. Sixty minutes for one thousand. In what city does ER take you place? Are so wrong. Mm. The correct answer is. Is it Chicago? I thought Chicago Player Hope. Two. I confused it. I thought there's multiple trying... hospital shows set in Chicago, Alex. All right, choose. Laugh track. Laugh track for five thousand. Hell yeah. Oh, 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 oh! That would be um, that would be um, Richard Kale. A loser. No. The no, that's who played Jaws. What was I thinking? It was Richard Mole. Who's the other Richard? Pick your category. Fuck. Sixty minutes for two thousand. I've been exposed as a fake <laughs> Night Court fan. Good one. Player two. Pick your category. Laugh track. Fuck. <laughs> 
This game's making me mad. Mm -hmm. uh, tunes and teases. Tunes and teases for 2000. Super Bowl. Super. Player one. <laughs> I mean, he was just making fun of me. 60 minutes for 3000. I think this is just like a, uh, a stock footage guy. You are correct. This music was used in Lego Island, Player huh? Two. So I guess this category. is production music, or at least reused. All right, what's your category? Um, tunes and teases. Tunes and teases. I'm so jealous you get to do that. Oh, come on, really? That you is Santa's... <laughs> I Sorry. didn't even have to answer. Player one. You Pick answered for me. Just keeping us on track here. <laughs> Uh, Alien chatter. chatter for 1,000. This game does have an ending. It's a game. <laughs> Player 2, pick your category. Ah, uh, that guy. Tunes and teases. Tunes and teases for 4,000. Uh, oh, no, I do remember this. Adidas? Oh, not even close. Yeah. The correct answer is number three. Really? I thought and it was now Nike. A word from our sponsor. Ooh. <laughs> I actually really like Player this. One. Yeah. Get ready for the channel surfing speed Ooh. round. Answer as many questions as you can before the 30 second clock runs out. Can't believe you named me small gay. Sorry. I'll get you for this. Alienation. Newcomers were known as slags. Uh, before he started Jake and the Fat Man, he was uh, Conrad. I don't know. Um. Fuck you. Uh. <laughs> he was a weatherman. He wasn't a shoe salesman. He's not Al Bundy. It's fine. We could never be on a game show together because I'd be like, God damn it, Alex. You gotta scream the answers at me. Okay. Before the thirty-second clock runs out. I'm I'm ready to scream. Okay. Oh, 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 Phil, Phil Hartman. Um, 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 antique store. Um, uh, uh the chamber. Uh, the tool time. Uh, Nancy Kerrigan. Uh, ba, 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 Perry Como. Kathy Lee Gifford. Player two, you're our winner. You won! Yes! You won! Despite my lack of knowledge about Night Court. This is Jack Monterey saying goodnight. We'll I see win. You next time on Bet Your Lifesavers. Yeah, I went 0 for 2 on Night Court. That's truly embarrassing. <laughs> so, thank you, Lifesavers. That was fun. That also, was pretty entertaining. Also, you can change the channel if they let you hold Very, on. very Night Court focused to my detriment. Oh, and yet there were still enough questions where... Uh, where I, I still managed to showcase my knowledge. You I feel good. good about this. You did good. I'm a winner, and I feel good about being a winner. All right. Are you ready for this? It's the Burger King Burger Blitz, uh, developed by Delanio Barris and uh, published by Burger King. Blitz me, Burger King. <laughs> yep. Do you like the music? I love it. This does, does this not have, have the king. king? Yeah, this is slightly before the the creepy king became so, in vogue. What you're gonna do is you gotta grab the ingredients in order and uh, survive. All right. So first up, I need a patty. Pa patty, patty, patty. I is this is this how they do things at Burger King? Mm -hmm. No wonder that there was that big controversy over Burger King foot lettuce. Okay, next ketchup. Ketchup is next. No mayo, ketchup. Then three of these. One, two, go. Three. Post Burger King Kids Club pre King. So this is a very specific moment in time for Burger mm -hmm. King. Yeah, this is good hit detection. <laughs> Stuff just sliding off the burger. I guess that would happen in real life. This is the best I've done. Where's the lettuce? No one would suspect they make your burgers with a falling rain of condiments, but that's what happens. <laughs> oh, 
on. Yeah, it's great. What a good burger you made. Do you, do you like the squishy noise? No, not at all. Can you make me just like a ketchup burger with extra ketchup? Okay. How much ketchup? More. Okay, hold on. More. That's okay. good. There's three? Yeah. It wouldn't let me close the burger. <laughs> That's what happens every time I try to make a ketchup burger. Okay, pickle. Burger, burger bing, but pettis. It's good. We're melting people's brains in real time. What I can is... tell. What's what? I don't know. What is anything? <laughs> Lettuce. I got it wrong. I was relocated to Antarctica. Well, apparently, Alex cannot have it his way at Burger King. If you want to make an all ketchup burger, you can't do that. If that's your way, fuck you. Well, you can get a free medium frozen Coca-Cola with a purchase of any kid's meal. Just click a different coupon. Can I have it unfrozen, please? No. All right. Print that coupon! If I click this, it's going to freeze our system. Yeah, it's going to open up like 12 Chrome windows. No, I it won't even let me. I try to click it. That's good. That... You know, I'm going to play again. All right. Okay, let's see. Can you give me like 12 patties? I want to try to make the most disgusting burger I can. Bacon, right. lettuce. No, I want lettuce in between the bun, the burgers. Lettuce. More meat. One thing, is that like potato chips? No, they're pickles. Oh, I see. It's just pickles, too. Gross. No more pickle. More, 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 more. It's what always happens when I try to make a burger. The ingredients just explode all over the place. The okay. cats love it, but... You think that's enough? Um, one more, one more stack of meat on top of that. Okay, hold on. <laughs> there you go. There we go. No, hold on. <laughs> I'm making the leaning tower of Nitsa. Here, give me a sec. Alex. <laughs> You're building a cat scratching post. <laughs> At the pickles this, and meat? This no longer resembles a hamburger. It's close enough. Hold on. Do you think Buttons would like this? <laughs> he would lose his shit. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Wow. No. A little bit taller. You can truly have it your way. A little bit taller. I want to see how how far I can go. Does it does it end the game like Tetris? Or you stack the stack I wonder. too high? No, it just... Yeah, just leave it there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Still going. Aww. You're clogging up the burger machine. Well, let me put any more burgers on top. They put, they're just like, go to Antarctica. We're tired of you. You take your 50,000 pickles and 10,000 patties and go to Antarctica. We're going to make you fair. drink a frozen Coca-Cola. <laughs> ah, it was a beautiful burger. I'm sorry I couldn't eat it, but there you go. That oh. is the Burger King foot lettuce Yeah, game. You, you flew too close to the sun and your Burger King wings melted off. Props to you, Alex. Thank you. Okay, I need to speed it up here. Uh, and what better way to speed it up than be a chicken? I Huh? Give me a sec. This is called Chicken Through Time. Chicken Through Time. Looking very much like an Amiga game. It's fine. So, you're a chicken, and you're moving through time. Right. Arrow keys move you. Chicka set Tim. Time to go. Let's go. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's go. Let's go, chicken. Chicken. Oh, oh, are the are the title screen tiles like blocks you need to jump on? Certainly, I can go through now that I got. Is this today. diegetic platforming? Whoa. Okay, so that was just the the intro. Yeah. And you're a chicken. Go in through time. Watch out for the blood. Neat. I see a dino. I think you need to get all the eggs. Oh, I guess I fell through the thing. You need to get all the eggs, and then you can go to the egg thing. And is that then blood? It... I think it is. I think it is. As to whose blood it is, I'm not sure. Maybe mine? Hope this is not chicken's blood. 
Okay, here. This Hold looks, on. looks like a Linux game. <laughs> it really does. They definitely just hacked out Tux the Penguin and replaced it with a chicken. I wish it was Flicky. This game I got shit, shit on Flicky. No, it doesn't. Okay. You almost became a chicken sandwich. This, this, I think that's all the eggs. Okay, okay. go into the egg machine. Oh, time machines are powered by eggs. That makes sense. Are we so, going back in time to figure out which came first? No! Alex, no! No! You had it! You had it! You almost changed history, and then you blew it right at the end. Fuck! Alex has his head in his hands. He has failed Fuck. as a gamer today. Game. Have you got a high score? <laughs> I typed in next game and it broke. Good. Next is CNWWWTWF Tune Wrestling by the Cartoon Network. Those are really, there's really that many W's in the title. Yeah. So this one I'm showcasing because this one is brought to you by Jammy Dodgers. Ow. And Cartoon Network. Jammy Dodgers aren't a real thing. That's just something I made up to make fun of British people. Right. Oh, that's that's a logo down there. Mm -hmm, for Jam the Jammy Dodgers. I didn't know Jammy Dodgers was a uh, a brand. I just thought it was a food. No, it's a brand of Jammy Dodgers. What is a Jammy Dodger? It's a jammy, and it's I'm thinking, a Dodger. I'm thinking it's like a sausage filled with grape jelly. So you're not gonna believe this, or or how, or you're not, and you're not gonna believe how we play this. So yeah. let's go. New game. Who am I gonna be? Nervous says I'm correct. Okay, good. Velma, Fred. Fred is here. He specializes in howling and growling. <laughs> we have Dexter. Specializes right. in homework, robotics. Uh -huh. Johnny, uh, Bravo. Johnny B. Mm -hmm. Acts awful. He feels good, though. We've got Scooby. Specialty, being frightened and eating Scooby snacks. I think That's it should me. be Velma. She's good <laughs> at getting lost and solving crime. Same. All right. Why was Fred so physically weak? He's a caveman. Cavemen are nothing but strength. Okay, now I have to... We're fighting. You um... have to beat up Dexter? Yeah, I'm oh, good. Got six hit points. Dexter has... He's five. a child! Will I chance my points? Yeah, let's see. All right, they're times two now. Velma is a, a late teen. This is a yeah. <laughs> beating up a five-year-old. Okay, that was a really good hit. Last time it took me a long time to fight him. Dexter, almost dead. Dexter on his last legs. All right, uh, I will risk. There we go. Six yeah, destroy that child. Five. Put him in his place. Should get me one hit point off of Dexter and destroy him, yes. Good job! I killed the child, and you now sure did. I kill Fred Flintstone. <laughs> oh no, don't do it! We love Fred. Look at him just wriggle over there. Look at him. Fred's excited as shit to be fighting someone from the 20th century. Nah, that's not very good. This is... <laughs> yes. Oh, minus four hit points! Oh, negative six. Fred is... Smacking me over and over. You can't okay. kill Fred. You can't just kill our ancestors. If there's no Fred, there's no Velma. Ooh, skilled feet. Uh, chance it. They want you to think that Velma's last name is Dinkley, but it's um, actually Flintstone. 30 hit points. I think I have killed Fred. Fred is crying now. You made him cry. Yeah. Good work. Yeah. So now I'm killing Scooby. This is a bridge too far. This is... <laughs> no way. Scooby's a dead man. This is wrong. <laughs> yeah, we bedrocked his ass. <laughs> nah, it's not good. Scooby-Doo is a weak stone dog. And he's your friend, Vilma. Why are he's... we doing this? It's just... It has to be done. It's fine that... You know what? It's fine. <laughs> Smep all the... Velma's gone apeshit and just beating up every character in the Cartoon Network. Exactly, no friends in the ring. <laughs> ah, crap, minus four. That's fine. Oh, Scooby might win this one. Alright, no, we got this, we got this. <laughs> Alright. I wish they yelled out their moves. This should be like Marvel. 
Optic Blast. Alright, he's got five hit points off Scoob. See, yeah, when I played this, I was like, this is an insane way to play a wrestling game. Yeah, it is. There's no wrestling moves either, it's just, it leaves it up to the imagination. But the animation they show, it's just like, all you think is just, it's, I'm dead. it's like bloody flailing going on. I lost. I lost to Scooby, a weak dog. You got mauled. Mauled to death. That's C-N-W-W-W-T-W-F, Toon Wrestling. WTF, indeed. Wow. Next up? No. Yes. No. I yes. thought we'd done all of this guy's games. No. We don't need He's another... Back. We must guess we've whose seen, phone We've seen old ringing. Dilbert, we've seen young Dilbert, and now we're back to old Dilbert. We're seeing phone Dilbert. A rare, a rare breed of Dilb. Dilb. All right, so we need to figure out whose phone is ringing. I'm Dilbert Pilled. Please don't be Dilbert Pilled. Uh, we want audio. Money. Yeah, give me the audio. That would be him. That looks like it's Dilbert. So far, so good. Hello, co-worker. Which came first, ranch or cool ranch? That's Dilbert. We remember his, I remember his phone ring. These guys are assholes. <laughs> Not wrong guy. Yep, Dill Dog's here. You got good old Rat Bert. <laughs> Dilbert, yeah, they do look shiny. Dilbert is oddly polished. Dilb is, stands for Dad I'd Like to Bury. <laughs> Does she just punch people? <laughs> I like that. Nope. Nope, I'm bad at this. I don't know what this is. This is for assholes. Wow, you have a Ratbert plushie? Cool. I bet those are rare. I bet you I could get a Dogbert plushie pretty easy. Probably cheap. They might sell them on AliExpress. Under his original name, Dill Dog. I, I am terrible. I will triple my bet. Thank you, Minx, a lot, gifting a sub to False Igabod. Nice, thank you. Appreciate the gift and enjoy your emotes. I bet there were a bunch of Dilbert plushes out at a certain time. Man, lots of people had Dilbert plushes. I am... I Whoa! We're getting there. <laughs> Scott Adams' life simulator. Man, if I had to listen to ringtones all day, I'd go nuts too. Do you like that? No. Who's the guy in the front? I believe he's from the comics. I haven't read many Dilberts. Yeah, he's an intern, I think. One of these has got to be hers. Yeah, there's Dilbert, and then there's Dogbert, and then there's Bossbert, and Lady Bert. Mm-hmm, that's Lady Bert right there. We got it! We got it! We're gonna do it! We got everyone's phone! Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Next game! <laughs> Not sure That's the point Dilbert. of that one. Uh, Guess whose phone is ringing? These games have been educational. These games have been advertisement oriented, and yet I don't really know the point of that Dilbert game. Next is DJ Boyardee Battle because we cannot have one of these streams without uh, Chef Boyardee. You really playing a Chef Boyardee game after Dilbert? I see what you're doing. <laughs> player this is the nut shack yes this is dj fat rav versus it's the, lady style it's the nut shack um i'll be lady style so i don't know how to play this game uh, no. mm -hmm. Ooh. yeah 
I'd press the button. I believe this is Friday Night Funkin', yeah. Greasy. 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 Saying beefy. Oh. Sounds like a Beatmania 5 key song. Greasy. Mm. Greasy. Mm. Greasy. Now, is the chicken there meant to imply that uh, Chef Boyardee meat is made of a combination of chicken, pork, and horse? Yes. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, we got it. Oh, and sardines, of course. Oh, no. Yeah, they're ripping off the jam mode from Toe Jam and Earl. Jamming. Rap. Yes, there is a very high pitched sound so, uh, sound going on. It's wriggling its way into my brain too. All right, last chance. I am really bad at these kinds. Don't of fuck games. this up. There's a year's supply of Chef Boyardee on the line. I lose. No, there's there's the car alarm, and then there's a high pitched squeal. Yeah. I need to get older, so I no longer hear those frequencies. <laughs> Did you lose? Yeah, I lost. Well. Let's reset. I do want to do freestyle. Greasy. With DJ Rat Rav. What year did this come out? Do we know? Hear that? Homestyle beef. Homestyle beef. Homestyle beef. Homestyle beef. Uh, no, I don't know when this came out. What if we announced a stream and then it was just two hours of that guy repeating Homestyle Beef? Homestyle Beef. Yeah, it's Homestar Beef. They cooked up Homestar Runner. How could they? So that is uh, DJ Boy RD Battle. What do y'all think? Um. I liked Greasy. I liked Homestyle Beef. That's about all I liked. I like it. There we go. That's all that matters. Homestyle beef. Next is Dairy Queen Mini Golf. Sure, fine. Fuck it. I was going to say at this point. I believe anything. Yeah, fine. Mini Golf with Dairy Queen, sure. sound like how i feel when, <laughs> when i try to when i try to find things streams like yeah okay what is this yeah fuck it who cares <laughs> put it in dairy queen mini golf now, a lot a lot of y'all you only know dairy queen as a frozen treats uh provider here in texas they're a full-blown restaurant i guess this is for the whoa it's in 3d mm -hmm. this is for the rest of the country hole in one fucking nice yeah actually that was that's really hard i'm surprised you get a free blizzard so you can rotate Let's see the yeah they got more than hot dogs they got steak finger baskets chicken finger baskets oh, steak the finger. hunger buster which is a chicken fried steak on a burger is that what the hunger buster is yes it is god that sounds good it is that is what i like about texas now let's go around this way no, I... Hold up, they don't have hot dogs at the Dairy Queens in Texas? You have to go to another lesser Dairy Queen just to get hot dogs? Nice, I got par. Oh, you snuck in the back. Nice job. <laughs> Sneaker nets, that's a good story. So they, they, did they give you two free blizzards after that? I think that's how it works. <laughs> it's a hazard. A blizzard hazard. Yeah, there's your blizzard right there. Yeah, that's what happened to sneaker nets right there on the screen. Nice, you got a free one. <laughs> oh, it does happen pretty often. <laughs> that sounds like a good deal then. If you're a betting man or woman, maybe head on over to Dairy Queen and ask him to turn down turn your turn your blizzard upside down. Actually, they have to do that. If they don't, it's free. I am um fucking whiffing this 
Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, BMO Raccoon uh, corrects me. Yes, the Hunger Buster is a quarter pound burger. The Dude is the chicken fried steak burger. That, okay, okay. I enjoy the Dude. <laughs> I think this may be where I stop playing, but. This is neat. People like. Wow. <laughs> All right. Okay, I take it back. People like mini golf, people like DQ. Why not combine them? A hole in one? Yeah, a hole in one. Wow, <laughs> incredible. <laughs> Got it okay. in one. Okay, all right. Let's not let's not question them. <laughs> There's actually a lot of options when it comes to flash game uh, mini golf. That was one of the first concepts people came up with. I'm pretty sure. That's a bullshit place for a hole. It is. That defies the laws of physics. Hold on. Yeah, I'm oh, hungry too. Let's on. let's go to Dairy Queen. Actually. Give me a give me a chicken strip basket. I would love a blizzard. Does Dairy Queen deliver? I'm pretty sure they do. Do you think if they <laughs> Do you think if you pay them enough they'll make a Texas Toast blizzard? <laughs> <laughs> I think it depends which Dairy Queen you go to and it's like <laughs> Because I don't know if Waffle House rules work in Dairy Queen where... <laughs> Waffle House rules. You know what I mean, where the people will do whatever because it's like what what rules exist. Is that like the Cider House rules? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm done here. But this is Dairy Queen Mini Golf, a very competent and well-made mini golf game that looks pretty decent for what yeah, it is. Yeah, very well presented in 3D. Good looking 3D. I don't like the the holes being on hills, though. Yeah, this is bullshit. But Dairy Queen. Neo Turf Masters, this is not. Eat some, won't you? Eat some. Next is a game by Way Forward called Escher Street. That Way Forward? Pretty sure WayForward.com. This is that song they used to play in the Chips Ahoy commercials. <laughs> it's not sing, sing, sing with a swing, no. Good afternoon, sir. I'm from Paws and Such Pet Store, and I'm here to interest you in our new pet exclusive line of arrow fish. Do you say air fish? Close enough. Allow me to demonstrate. Voila! It's a fishbowl. Yes, but these okay, are it may not be that way forward. Mm. Variety, run of the mill, all American. You've seen one, you've seen them all. Fish. Now observe. Come on, girls. Come on. Don't be shy. Wow. Hey, what kind of fish are these, eh? They're arrow fish, the latest in aquatic genetics. Gonna be all the rage. See, they make wonderful bats. They're clean, quiet, and best of all, they won't tear up the furniture. Are they, uh, housebroken? Well, there is that. But like ordinary fish, their poo hangs in long, stringy goo. Messy, but it makes it easier to track them down. <laughs> uh, I think I'll pass. Thanks. Oh, no. They've run away. Hey, wait a minute. What the heck are you trying to pull here? They like you already. Hey, right. Uh-huh. Well, they're smart fish. Maybe they this smell food. Scum all, right. Yes. all right, I'll get them. But as soon as I do, you're out of here. You wait here. But if you just... <laughs> I, uh... Hey, you. How am I going to catch them? Uh-huh. Right. All right, and now we got to catch the fish with the space bar. Okay. Yeah, this does look a little bit like a Nickelodeon cartoon. I'm thinking more like... One of those shorts they used to show. Do you remember uh, the cat came back? Yes. That's what this reminds me of. Very Canadian. Yeah. yeah. A little bit of a far side bent to it. Oh, you are catching their poops. Yeah, it's really gross. Ooh. Holy shit, I did it. Uh, thank you to Na oh. Nanaki Amano. Thank you. For the eight Ooh. months. Well, no, what are you watching? Rush, uh, I wish I knew. Well, I Put down Thank the you, vacuum. though. 
Oh, God. Uh, I don't think I'll be having any of your, um, uh, arrow fish. And that's Escher Street. That's... You did it. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. Yeah, I was failing when I was playing earlier, so I'm pretty happy about that. This is film this is film National Board of Canada Corps. Thank you. Yes. Totally. That was like 80% dialogue and 20% action, so it's definitely a way forward game. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh boy, next is uh Fly Like a Bird by uh from Gamevile. This is a uh <laughs> <laughs> That's a cool bird. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> More poop? God damn it, Alex. Have we entered the poop block? Honey, we're playing web games. Oh, yeah, we're always in the poop block. Okay, so um, I'm really bad at this. Uh, it's really quite easy is a lie. Um, <laughs> it's a birdemic-ass bird. <laughs> it's definitely digitally added in after production. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! This is a web game. Whoa! It's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Do you like my little walk? I like the human. <laughs> this is a GTA bird. Now, what's the poop button? Okay. Alex, Alex has mastered the art of flight. Somehow. I'm looking for a bag of chips. Oh! Oh! Oh, I... you slammed into the ground and killed yourself instantly. Wow. I'm gonna try poor bird. Time. Oh! And it crashes. Oddly a very realistic death for that bird, too. That was Fly Like a Bird by Game Vile. Okay. I don't even think that lasted a whole minute before it crashed and left, so... The life of a bird, soaring through the air and then slamming into the ground. It is cool, yeah. Uh, next is Garfield's Fashion Passion, because we also can't do these without playing a Garfield game. Of course there's a Garfield game. Well, of course there's... It's, honey, it's Garfield. All right. He has a passion for fashion. All right, my name is... You know what? I'm going to do speedrun, so we're just going to be player one. Go. Yeah. Hey, player one, dress Garfield to guard the queen. Okay. To guard the... <laughs> so we got to put this on, right? Right. Uh, wrong. No, okay. So it's that's wrong... So, okay, that's wrong. Googly eyes, is that correct? Wrong. No, wrong. Wrong, I already said this was wrong. Wrong. Put on your wrong. pants, it's time to guard the queen. Wrong. You'd think it'd be this, right? Do you have well, to drag it up higher? You have to put it on his head absolutely exactly. Or oh, else it's wrong. I see. Pixel perfect garf. Hey, it's cold out. What should he wear? Uh, uh, hat. That. Hat. Okay, thank God. You have to do as fast as we can. Let's go. Help Pizza Cat. Help Pizza Cat Garfield cook up some fun. <laughs> I guess this is Pizza Cat. Pizza Cat there Garfield. We go. Next up, next up. Go, go, go. Uh, dress him to read his favorite book to Gorilla Mockingbird, I guess. Are you kidding me? There we go. Good. <laughs> next, we're going to go party hardy. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Garfield's been drinking again. Mm -hmm, he's drinking a lot. He's got lamb on his head. How does uh, Garfield look when he feasts his eyes on a pan of lasagna? Give him the googly eyes. Oh, he's Make him look googly. at that lasagna. It's perfect. Wow, twisted. Uh, get Garfield ready to hop on his Harley. <laughs> oh, Garfield loves his Harley. <laughs> what? Garfield's heading Hold over to on, the rock rally. Hold on, I this exactly. <laughs> not wear this on his Harley? Those are really high pants, Garfield. I, I hate it. That's yeah, put awesome. the bandana around his eyes. Put the finishing touch on Chef Garfield. Well, we know what that is. Ta-da. Okay, <laughs> got to dress and go a couple rounds in the ring. All right. Let's beat the shit out of Garfield. So far, so good. He has a jester hat. Yes. <laughs> Not his eye, Garfield. No, no. Jester core is coming in into style. No, it's it. just you. That's it's just you who wants this. Are you sure? Have we checked on the fandom? Yes, we have. All right. Uh, how are we going to Lua? We're going to wearing uh, this. There we go. 
You have to kind of put him, dress him off center. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna earn his wings being a pilot. He's a pilot. Yeah, he's doing everything. Um, he's gonna. Ah, oh boy, that's a that's sicko Garfield. And he's gonna go on a hot date for Valentine's. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay. Hey, player, when we love your fashion sets, now you can get wacky and dress them any way you want. All right, so, Dan. You did it. You beat the game. How are you going to make the ultimate Garf? I think he needs glasses. Right. And the jester hat. Yes. And the, um, the, the twisted smile. Uh-huh. Are we making, are we just making the Joker? And the googly eyes. Okay. And the, uh, the boxing gloves. Okay. Just moving stuff out of the way. Mm -hmm. This is looking pretty good. This is I looking like a really accurate Garfield. Too. Okay, sure. All right. Uh, I really like this Garfield. Let's put the see. put the Hawaiian shirt on him too, and the pants. Yeah. Holy crap! I think Garfield looks great, everybody. This is the new Garfield reboot. Mm -hmm. This is what you've all been waiting for, right? This is the official character sheet. Anything that doesn't show Garfield like this is officially off model. There we go. We made a brand new Garf for a new generation. Yeah, Garfans. now we know what Garfield looks like when he puts clothes on. He looks like a demon. Next game. Next game is Groove Master. By Craft Brands? Ooh, 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 ooh. Did it open up my email client? Are you shitting me? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Kraft Macaroni and Cheese is going to email me. Oh, this this beat. Yeah. I know this beat. Can anyone guess what it is? Funk Dad. Oh my god, it is Funk Dad. It's totally Sagat's Funk Dad. Why is it when I want to play a shockwave game, I get an ad for macaroni and cheese? Funk Dad. Quick play is broken. So you have to do high score. We're not going to do every level. I would take too long. Question. Why can't I play flash games without seeing Garfield? And fuck that! You can be Kira. We can be Max. I think I'll be Kira. And we want smooth or rock? We're going smooth. I am, yeah, let's do I'm smooth. Baby. I really love funk that. <laughs> hey, do you remember DDR? Do I ever? Well... Wow, this is kind of heavily abstracted because a dance pad never figured into this at any point during development. And yet here you have a fake kid dancing on a fake dance pad. Not not DDR, this is Groove Master. Right. You crafted good. <laughs> it's craft punk. <laughs> Man, that would be a, a good Mad Magazine uh, feature like 10 years ago. This French electronica duo really likes macaroni and cheese. It's Kraft Punk. I said Kraft Punk. I do love this song. Oh, is it an Eric Andre thing? All right. <laughs> Great minds think alike. This is less Sagat and more Sade. It's very Sade. Alright, that Freaking was... Freaking nice. That was that one. Next one. Sorry, every time I click start, it just fucks up the entire screen, so... That's cool. I'm glad the craft logo is on screen the entire time. Listen. Mm. You can't forget craft singles, craft macaroni and cheese, and craft.
Also, I love these jeans. These are totally, totally 2018 jeans. This music kicks ass. Doesn't it? It's oddly reminiscent of uh, older DDR songs. They yeah, did. They, really they did their homework. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. In stereo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the Jalian dancing. <laughs> We're at craft level two. What do you think is at craft level three? Like macaroni with hot dogs in it. sold. This is great. So, can I interest you in some uh, singles of sliced cheese? Yes, please. Just throw them right into my mouth. That'll make good television. Okay, for each of these arrows, I'll, Alex is throwing a slice of cheese I'll, into my mouth. That's, that's too much cheese already. I'm gonna explode. Oh god. Help the cheese. The bass is booming. It is, isn't it? It's nice and crunchy. Play a cheese for you song. <laughs> Dive into Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. <laughs> I don't think anyone's made the Kraft word joke yet. Good job. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's horrible for him. Pushing up and down alternately with a single foot. Did you ever play DDR before? I bet this guy uses the bar. All right. I almost didn't make it out of that one, so I think the next one I'm going to probably lose. But this has been, uh, again, the craft works. So many jams. So many forgotten jams. Oh, they got jumps now. Okay, what DDR song does this sound exactly like? I think some ad exec just like went to an arcade and was like, recorded all the audio like off of his like cell phone or whatever. It's like, this, do this. This is killing me. This is definitely a DDR song. <laughs> Smooth night chords. Hotel California dance mix. All good guesses. Smile KD. There we go. We have a winner. It's a little bit do it all night ish. I can hear it. Do you think they have a uh, macaroni and cheese version of uh, Help Me, Dr. Dick? I'd like to see the video for that. <laughs> As Dr. Dick. Did I do all the songs? I think you did it. Holy shit. I think you are the best dancer. Look at that pose. That is a dominant pose. Oh, there's one more song left. You could do it. Take you down. What if the last song is just like a, ki a Chemical Brothers master track and we get banned? Honestly worth it. We have... Uh, Daru Day, Cheese Dust Storm. We have uh, In the Cheese of the Night. Poppin' version with the Jesusaurus Rex. Poppin' music style. It's got diagonals, like, keep it up. Mm. 
I don't believe Fritz Love My Tits was ever in a Bimani game. They did have Oh Nick Please Not So Quick in DDR 3rd Mix, though. The arrows don't seem like they're especially timed with the music. Nope. I'm right, Karos. I played that song in the arcade. <laughs> I was like, yes, I will definitely play the erotic song, Oh Nick, Please Not So Quick, in public. Level S. Fucking nice. Game over. Wow, you did it. You beat the game. It had nothing more for you. All it could say was game over. Nicely done, Alex. Thank you. That is Groove Master. Next is Hypnotic Goldfish. Hypnotic Goldfish. First, let's load our fun pod. Yeah, nice 1cc. Alex has gotten a lot of 1ccs today. What can I say? Oh, that's that's disturbingly realistic. Let's make sure everything's here. You know, people keep trying to get me to play Subnautica. <laughs> so, you have a fish meat ma matrix, and what you can't, what you can do is you can use, use it on the goldfish to yeah. uh, figure out what it's thinking. What Does is this fish it? thinking? Hello, who's this? Are you reading my mind? We are, Mr. Fish. <laughs> Lo-fi goldfish to study and relax too. I'll do a couple more of these, but you get the point. It's a really cute toy, but it's pretty well executed, and... This was based on the Incredible Mr. Limpet franchise. They couldn't get Don Knotts, though. And it goes faster the better you uh, center it towards their brain. Oh. You have to aim at the brain specifically. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty fun. Like so, see? Fast, but then if I go this way... Elf thing? My favorite fun pot is that elf thing. Well, and there you go. I mean, that's you are. This, this fish is on the TV at the moment. <laughs> that's Hypnotic Goldfish, a very quick, cute little toy that uh, does it, does what it says on the tin. Does it, though? <laughs> okay, sure. Thank you, Tepid Snake, for 42 months. Truly, Macromania Shockwave is the meaning of life. At last, we found it. Thank you, Tepid right, Snake. Fish called Wanda Joke, something no one All right. remembers. That's, We're out. That's contemporary. All right, next up is Lifting Chant, made by Cyber Guild and published on ZDNet. Anyone uh, anyone knows what Hypnotic Goldfish was all about? Be, sh be sure to let me know. So I chose this one because this game has a very interesting aesthetic, and I like it. So it does, doesn't it? Shoot. Let's click a ball. You have to just keep... Oh, it's a game and watch game. Let's try again. Come on, folks. Let's all nope. click a ball. Nope, nope, nope. You see a ball around, click it. But I love the little clay, the little, uh, the clay, the animation here, the way it changes. I really like this. It's neat looking, yeah. Yeah, it has a nice aesthetic to it. That's one thing about a lot of the Shockwave games. They're very, very aesthetic. Made by Kepe with Cyber Guild. One more time. I'm not going to do this one for long because it's a... Just a little wow. Toy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when so. It looks really easy to lose. It is. You have to be good at this, which I'm not. Claymation should come back. We have the technology now to make it look really good. Mm-hmm. We're done. Uh, Craft Macromedia and Cheese! Holy shit, who said that? That would be Rio Dice. That's really good. Congratulations. I'm glad I scrolled up to see that. There we go. So World that... is clicking a ball. <laughs> and alright, next up is a game that I chose for its name. No, Mil no, I don't Milky think... Milky Business. I don't think we can play a game called Milky Business. 
You'll be glad to know this is a Hershey's game. And you'll also be glad to know this game is bullshit, impossible, I hate it, and I am going to start screaming when I play, so get ready. Alex let loose a monkey in the studio Uh and is drowning us out. I don't, oh. I don't like being upstaged by a monkey. There we go. There we go. I turned down the monkey. I, I call People the recognize monkey that monkey. If you know this monkey, call the FBI. Click the monkey to start? I guess so. Milky business. So you have momentum, and it's the most... Boy, do you ever... You have to jump over these monkeys, and it's very impossible. I have... See, Adver games do work, Ultra Pancake. They know what you're about to do. God! It's fine. Did they not crop the sprites right? They do look kind of funky, huh? Uh, was anyone unfortunate enough to play the Three Stooges on NES? This reminds me of the... Uh, the boxing game where Larry has to run to the radio store. <laughs> In fact, that's exactly what this is. This does seem very Amiga-ish. It is. <laughs> like a British home computer game. Yeah, see? Okay. Alright, I'm vindicated. Some people see the resemblance. I'm fine. I'm fine. What British GBA game was that? I, I don't doubt you, Uzi. It's just I play a lot of GBA games. Yeah, yeah, we gotta get to the cracker soup eating game. I am fine. This sure is some milky business. It's fine. This game isn't fucking impossible. It's fine. I can... <laughs> stun locked! You got stun locked. Between the milk and the monkey. Click the monkey to try again. This monkey can fucking die. There we go. <laughs> wow. Now we're going to go on to a monkey I actually like. Uh, Moon Monkey 11. Brought to you by Verizon. Developed by Blockdot and published on Coolbox. Coolbox. Horizon, there's a name I can trust. See? Hold on. No, Alex, to get the promotional money, the, the full logo needs to be on the screen. Hold on, Verizon. Good. As long as, we get, as long as we get paid, that's all I care about. Okay, that should do it. Hold on. Yeah, this is the, the hip new Verizon, just called Very. There we go. Okay, hold on. This is Moon Monkey 11. What do you think this is going to be? Um, Some kind of Lunar Lander clone? Let's see. Game brought to you by Her Verizon. Thank you, Verizon. Are there any options? Oh, no. <laughs> you have legal options. Left and right arrows, rotate the USS Verizon, we activate our thrusters with the arrow keys, we pick up the rescue capsules, and we shoot- I was them. right. I was right. I was right. Oh, no, actually it's just asteroids. I was wrong. That monkey face, huh? It's good. It's fine. Okay. I'm okay with this monkey. Yeah, I don't like the face either. We should get DSL. That'll let us play the game better. Alex, you think the stream could use a DSL upgrade? I think... The monkey died. They're fine. They have two lives left. Okay. I'm doing pretty good. Considering pretty good for a monkey. Yeah, I'm... Oh god, oh god, that was, that was, that was Oh, it's bad. supposed to be like Apollo 11, Moon Monkey 11. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that 
was fucking terrible. Oh man, we're gonna have to tell the monkey's family some bad news. Hey, shall I challenge someone? Oh look, you can play games. Jump download online. Music, watch video. Download and large files in the snap. What if I hit watch video? If I get a Verizon ad, nice. Ooh, breaking news. We can preview the latest movies? I like movies. Yeah, it does sound Chips Ahoy song-ish, yes. There's Sing 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 again. Don't read about it, experience it. With DSL. With Retro Pals. I mean DSL. Okay. I'm in. Alex, call up Verizon. We're getting DSL. Alright, let's get DSL, baby. Fuck yeah. Time to upgrade our stream. All right, next up is a game I really like, uh, Murder Most Vintage. Hmm. Murder, you say? Mm-hmm. Well, this does look vintage. Guess what kind of game this is? Point and click? Absolutely wrong. This... Racing game? Kind of. You done it, you done it. Now go wreck some cars in this classic case of car carnage. That's right. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm here to fuck up some cars. Wow, you are. <laughs> There's no rules. Build up your bonnet frenzy meter. You get that by smashing. Okay, smash one. Up. The car disappeared. Did you just eat it? Yeah, I killed them. Instantly, oh. everyone, including me, thinks of big rigs. And yeah, the resemblance is kind of uncanny. Except the other cars move in this, so it's technically better than big rigs. This is copyright. This is from 2002. Copyright James Flowerdew. Which is a lovely name. Alex, the sky darkened when you started up this game. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, hey, Danny's not joking. It really is dark outside. Okay. Did we make God mad? I don't know why God would be mad. Yeah, he loves Multimedia Monday. Mm hmm. That does look a little bit like the Monopoly car. So, I always picked the uh, the little Yorkshire Terrier. What did, what else did everyone pick in Monopoly? I like the hat. I like the thimble because you could put it... Oh, 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 there's that car we need to kill. Oh, yeah, you could put the thimble on your finger. I don't think anyone in the history of Monopoly has ever picked the iron. Yeah, fuck Some the Some people iron. were the shoe, the battleship. The battleship's cool. Yeah, a lot of dog players here. I always called first dib on the dog. I remember people would fight over the dog car was pretty neat. Nice and weighty in your hands. All right. Not like uh, the freaking my iron. My score is 50, and I killed quite a few people, so that's good. Hey, good work. Yeah. That's Murder Most Vintage, a vehicular manslaughter game. Or car crash game, or whatever you call it. Carmageddon style? I don't know. Yeah, sure. Thanks, James. <laughs> I'm just going along with it. Next I'm only up is show this one for a second, but okay, show me what this is. This is P Pachinko. It's it's from Sega. Guess which character they have in the background. Oh, oh, um. Chat, you guess too before I load this up. Okay, a Sega character in the background. Uh, I'm going with Chakan the Forever Man. Mm -hmm. Possibly uh, I I the Monkey from Super Monkey Ball. All right, people are like Sonic, Flicky, Knights from Knights. Ed That's what Boy, I would guess. Flicky, well. Good guess is all. Let's see if everyone's right. Hold on, let me make sure this is centered and proper. Okay. Boy, I wonder what character it is. Y'all ready? You're not gonna. You're not gonna. Maybe it's a really deep pull, like it's it's from Safari Hunt for the SG-1000 or something. Close. Excuse me, tranquilizer gun. A hundred bits from the Ultimo. This isn't Shadow the Hedgehog. Nope. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, who is it? Three. Two, one. Of course. Say Mr. Bones. You're kidding. I wasn't going to play this because it really is a bog simple kind of boring pachinko game. But when I saw Mr. Bones, I... I don't think anyone guessed that. <laughs> I don't think anyone saw this coming. It's pachinko. There's a second Mr. Bones game and it's pachinko. That's not Mr. Bones' voice. It's not. And, I, and I'm and i honestly upset that they included it because Mr. Bones is a nice man. He would never baa at us. That's a, that's, a, that's a pretty deep cut. This could be the most promotion Mr. Bones has ever received. 
Oh, is that just a Skeletor laugh? It what the is. fuck? You can't conflate Mr. Bones and Skeletor. They're they're diametrically opposed. They are morally and emotionally different people. <laughs> Skeletor can't even play the guitar. So. All right, give them our address. <laughs> and our zip. And everything. And your credit Mr. card, your social security <laughs> number, your mother's maiden name. That's Mr. Bones Pachinko, something that I cannot believe existed. That looked official, but but how could it? But how could it? Next up is something from Unilever and Best Foods. Send a cyber snack to a friend. I'm sorry? Oh, it's raining. The sky has suddenly opened up. It was sunny with no clouds when we started to stream. It was. It was really nice. And we are closing out Multimedia Monday with a flash flood. <laughs> Normal. So, we need to build a, sa a snack for our friend. Yeah. Apple. Okay. Um, banana. Yeah, all right. Um, a little syrup. Bit of chocolate syrup. Delicious. This actually looks pretty good. Can I? Can I'd I... eat this. This is so far looking pretty edible. Ooh, ooh. Marshmallow fluff. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I like this. And a touch of honey. Okay, this is great. Let's see. Are we going to use bread or? No, nah, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck. I just There's... got a pop up. Danny, could you read the pop up notice? Okay, so you, you can't see this, but there is a pop up Windows notification with the little uh, exclamation mark in a yellow triangle. It says, Oops, you forgot to add Skippy. <laughs> Okay. And it makes you start over. It does. Let's try again. You said bread. Let's put bread down. Bread. Right. Skippy. <gasps> Dill pickles. Oh, gross. Dill pickles. Oh, God. Dill pickles. No. Dill pickles. Raisins. What is this? Burger King? Dill pickles. Raisins. Dill pickles. Raisins. <laughs> and what does this pop-up say? It says it's the same style of pop-up. Too much. The T in two is not uh, capitalized. Oh, baby. Tess is trying to leave the room. Too much. We've uh, made another cat scratching post. What even is that? It's delicious. Too much. I won't too look. much. Just it's too much. All right. Let's send this, and you can send this to a friend. Uh, submit. Send your cyber snack to, and then you can type your message. I don't think it'll actually send, but. That is a send a friend to Cyber Snack, another wonderful game where you can make horrible, horrible foods for people. Skippy, Everybody, it's, it's the honey, just, dill pickles, it's just peanut butter Skippy, on a plate. Dill pickles, Skippy, dill pickles, Skippy, bread. <laughs> Only on top though. One bread. I did not. I am not pickle Alex. I did not turn myself into a dill pickle. <laughs> Funniest shit I ever see. Delicious. We have avant-garde games and avant-garde sandwich making. Beautiful. Nice work, Alex. That is send a cyber snack to a cyber friend. Send it to a cyber friend and send them the message, choke on this, asshole. Good. All right. Next up is a game called Shark Bait um, by... Hold on. Let's see if there's any info here. No. Okay. So Shark Bait uh, says here it's developed by Design Reactor. Let's see. This is another game with a really nice aesthetic. I guess it's brought Rotten to me Tomatoes right. branded? I, I, I'm going to tell you this. I don't know why it's Rotten Tomatoes branded. I'm going to let the cat out. Thank you. I was going to say she's uh, going wild. Well, kind of going mild. So this is Shark Bait. This is a uh, very simple fishing game. And guess what? It's actually really fun and I like it a lot. Gonna pick easy. I'm back. Whoa, fish are biting today. Mm hmm. You have to select certain fish, but avoid other ones. Like the oh, you one. just you just eat them right on the pier. Mm hmm. I just eat it. That saves a lot of time. You don't gotta take them back home, clean them, cook them. You just eat them raw. But see, this game has a really cute aesthetic. <laughs> it does remind me a little bit of Ripper Ribbit. Want to win tickets? Then play Ripper Ribbit! No! Fuck! If you eat the wrong fish, it uh, makes your hunger meter go down. You need your hunger meter to go up as much as possible to keep full. This guy is a Kirby. 
I have yet to see another example of the Kirby species, and yet here he is. Okay, so far so good. Make him eat all the urchins. It is raining like crazy. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not That's doing... horrifying. <laughs> nice big one. Oh, okay, there, there is a second Kirby, and his name is Meta Knight. That's true, I completely forgot. Yeah, eat the urchins, they're good for you. It's called Fugu. That's Pufferfish. It's called Fugu. I'm about to drown. To... No, fuck, I'm dead. Well, I melted into goo. Wow. You died how you lived. Melting into goo? What is this promoting? Uh, Rotten Tomatoes. Right. Rotten Tomatoes, very, very, you know, you know, cinema files where they're always sitting on the pier eating raw fish. Yeah, if I'm not in the theater, I'm out on the dock, <laughs> scooping up fish into my mouth. 25 bits uh, uh, from I asked who's played this as well. Nice. This you might be, one. you might be the single person in chat who has actually played multiple of these games. <laughs> like Eskimo Bob. Oh, man, I haven't thought about Eskimo Bob in a while. Fuck. Another hero of Flash animation. I got hungry. And died. Did you know the creator of Eskimo Bob translated 100 World Story? I did not know that. Now you know. Eskimo Bob is a ROM hacker. Fuck. 100 bits from the Ultimo. Shark Bait was a terrible animated movie made with the help of Rotten Tomatoes. Wonderful. Oh, it could be related to that. I am going to die. Here. This is pretty weird. I've seen a lot of fishing games, and yet none where you just consume the fish right away. I played one like that, but it featured a cat. That makes sense. All right, that is 2002's Shark Bait by Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, yeah, I think they kickstarted that NES Eskimo Bob game, too. Eskimo Bob still going strong in the background, even if I haven't thought of him in a while. Uh, we were using worms. The worms is like you have a certain amount of worms to use to keep your hunger meter up, yeah. Nice. All right, that was shark bait. Next Thank you, up, Rotten Tomatoes. Um, I'm gonna skip ahead here. Next up is a game that I last minute put on the thing. Uh, it's Rats the Race. That is Rats with a Z. I have never seen a more Alex Core game in my life. Yeah, you can probably decide why I uh, added this last minute. Yeah, I I can understand. We have easy levels, we have normal levels, and then we have hard levels. I'll do easy. Yeah, go easy on the rat. You've got this rat. What a cool rat render. We got this rat, who looks vi Rasmo, who looks very cool. Why are the rats so stylish? It looks good, right? Like... These are some excellent low-poly rats. I'm going to pick this rat. I haven't played this game at all, but it looked good, so... Even the loading symbol is cool. I'm sold. This is the best game we played all day. You might be right. This is pretty good. This is the rat equivalent of that uh, Paul Blart game we played a few months ago. That was also Shockwave. Okay. Am I a Shockwave fan? I think you might be. Shockwave tends to, because it had a 3D engine, it tended to have more games that were games. This is definitely a game. God dang. Rat fans, this is your day. Wait a minute, is this based on a TV series? Is it? I'm gonna confirm this in real time. Come back here! Come back here, rat! Wikipedia's DNS address could not be found. That's probably a good sign. <laughs> Are we still streaming? Is anyone actually streaming. watching this? I actually had to check. Yes, we're still streaming. Well, in the meanwhile, I'm going to take your word for it that this is based on a TV series. Because it is rats, spelled with a Z. Damn it. Well, Tradon has experienced this game, apparently. Integral part of rats is the rat board, a transportation device. <laughs> Thank you, Ultimo, for the 100 bits. Thank you. 
Wow, all my devices suddenly stopped loading the internet. It's probably fine. It's normal. Now this is pod racing. Alright, almost there. My nitrous. I can see the pod racing analog. You got two little thrusters behind you. And you got a dual stick setup. Just like little Annie. Remember little Anakin Skywalker? I do. Whatever happened to that guy? I did it! Hey! I got 42 and I beat the other rat. Look at this! This looks so good! That is a stylish rat. Nice. Let's see what the next race is and we'll move on to our final games. Rats. I think the rats stole my internet from all the devices I'm using. I'm heading in blind here. I'm just assuming all the people in chat are ooing and eyeing over the rats. Yeah, they love the rats. They're all like, rats, rats, rats. Okay, this is the same thing. I'm gonna... You had 420 here. points at one point. Okay, good, good. <laughs> Damn, I'm doing good. I, I don't want to stop playing this game, but I really... I have, like, a couple more games to show off, so I have to, but... You can do a 100% run. I could. I could also do the stream as I intended. Oh no, he does look like Goofy from the back. He does. All right, there's video evidence of this rat's show existing. We got to do some research after this. We do. Some rat search. Damn, I'm doing good. Tradon, we are playing these games through Flashpoint 9.0 Infinity. Mm -hmm. This is uh, some kind of program that downloads, archives, and makes playable a whole bunch of old Flash and Shockwave games. Mm -hmm. Other platforms, too. It's got HTML5 games. Uh, it's really got a lot. So if you are if you ever play, if you ever played a lot of old web games, check it out, because they might have what you've missed. Oh, yeah, I don't like thinking about Goofy from the back. People mentioning the Noid in chat. I don't think anyone remembers what the damn Noid looks like. Someone who shall go nameless, I was watching last night, said a certain Toho character looked like the Noid, and there was no resemblance whatsoever. I'm still pissed off about it. Danny. For the Noid, I mean... <laughs> Noid has gotten... It's gotten so much shit over the years, and I don't think it's deserved. You know what? I'm good. I'm gonna end on 420 points. That seems good. Oddly, it wasn't Clown Piece, either. Hey, good job. You did it. Good job. That is Rat Race. Next up, uh, a game that some people might remember. Something fishy. Hmm. Seems fishy. It is thundering like crazy out there. Yeah. <laughs> if this stream holds out... We are being punished with the weather for what we're doing. Luckily, we only have seven minutes of stream left, so oh. here's hoping the power holds out. But if this... If this edition of Multimedia Monday ends suddenly and violently, you'll know why. This is something fishy. This is basically a uh, shark shark. And, uh, yeah, I used to play this constantly as a child. This and Alley Cat were my favorite games. Okay. Because I was not normal. Oh, you're fine. What? Right into the shark's mouth! What the f- Gotcha. So yeah, you eat the smaller fish. If you eat enough smaller fish, you become bigger, and then you can eat the bigger fish. And I it. know what this is. Yep, it's Shark Shark. It is Shark Shark, a.k.a. Feeding Frenzy, a.k.a. Uh, whatever the Amico version of this is called. Come back. Magambo played this. Yep, this looks like a pretty fun game. I played a lot of Feeding Frenzy when it hit uh, Xbox 360. I'm surprised we don't see more of these kinds of games. It's a very satisfying formula, you know? It is. Feeding on the small folk. Gradually getting bigger. Eventually too big to sustain yourself. Oh wait, that's capitalism. <laughs> Fish, come back. Let me eat you. Yeah, I think this formula really got iterated on when Flash became a thing. Yeah. Because it's a very simple single screen formula. You can make it look nice. Oh, 
close one. I hadn't heard that about the Amico version. Interesting title. No, thank you. Man, I used to be so into Xbox Live Arcade games. That's because they were just like five bucks. So even if they sucked, you'd be like, okay, well, I got an hour out of that. Where is Feeding Frenzy 4K? Where is Feeding Frenzy 4K? This was before Feeding Frenzy, by the way. <laughs> so this knocked off the... This this is the knockoff for the knockoff. Did the knockoff. So it's like Feeding Frenzy ate this, which ate Shark Shark. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's poetic in a way. Talarico thinks he's the shark, but he's the littlest fish. Alright, doing good so far. <laughs> Will you be watching the critic episodes from Shockwave? I don't no. think so. It's cool that those exist no. though. I don't know if they're even I don't know if they're preserved on here. This does preserve a lot of animations too, by the way. I know those critic episodes are backed up anyways. I think they're on YouTube maybe. Oh yeah. Oh, not recommended? Yeah, they're probably not good. Come on. Come on, fish. 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 Oh, they're on the DVDs, so you have them. Oh, great. Well, I'm glad to have the DVD anyway. Oh, God. I'm doing pretty good. I haven't been eaten. Watching the critic on PSP. That's that's they say that's the best way to do it. I forgot about the Game Tap episodes of Space Ghost. If like everything else on Game Tap, if it's like that, it's probably lost. Oh god. How am I surviving? Alex after not surviving. Come on. Come on. Come on. Why didn't they make a Freddy Fish game like this? Where Freddy just ate all his friends? Uh, okay, well I guess now I know why they didn't. How did I not die there? That I was close. Yeah. Hey, shitheads. You gotta get bigger before you can eat the chumby fish. Now you can eat him. Eat shit, chumby. Seem to just devour them. Oh yeah. Ah, well there you go. That is something fishy. It sure is. We have time for one more game. I'm gonna pick a game uh, also from ZDNet uh, that I actually really like and I think is pretty fun. This is the Baby and the Beast. Krungo, I don't know about this Flash, uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle game. I do know that there was a. Xbox Live Arcade game that was so bad that it was delisted within like a couple months. I don't know if anyone ever bought it to back it up even. So, the babe. Oh no, Alex, can we show this? It's fine. Are you sure it's fine? I promise it's not gory. From 1996, The Baby and the Beast, 100 bits from the Ultimo, transfer. Oons, 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 <laughs> Thank oons, you. Oons, oons. Nope. Are you sure about this? Are you... It's fine. So you have to put the baby back and forth. Of course, you have to keep him out of the lion's mouth. And, uh, yeah. The more you can do it back and forth, the, uh... The bigger the bonus you can get. Uh-huh. I'm just waiting for that tragic moment. I'm looking for an excuse to ban Shockwave games from this stream. <gasps> and that's The Baby and the Beast, uh, as previously found on ZDNet. Th thank, thank you, Alex. Thank you for showing us that. Is that really what you're going to end the stream on? Would you like me to pick something else? No, it looks like the ban Alex's speak for themselves. Uh, you've impressed the folks. 
<laughs> and that looks like a showstopper to me. <laughs> Listen, it w- I thought I thought the aesthetic was different. It was nice. It had a really interesting gameplay cycle. Did it? Hey, that was one of the least gory deaths you're going to see in a Flash game. Let's be real here. We didn't have to have a game about lions eating babies to begin with. Finally, a game without politics. Thank you for the two people thanking me. <laughs> it's only been one incident before where I've seen so many ban Alexes in a row and, well... Frankly, they were both warranted. Good work, folks. You, you have a good eye when it comes to banning Alex. That'll get you far in this world. Well, that's Multimedia Monday. Shockwave, featuring uh, lots of things being eaten, featuring lots of product placement, mm-hmm. featuring Velma beating up Scooby-Doo in a fist fight to the finish. We saw a lot of things today, and God is now punishing us with a thunderstorm. So good work, Alex. You are welcome. What a bunch of games. Incredible bunch of games. I'm inspired, and hopefully you're inspired too. Thanks for watching. We'll be back on Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central, with a special showcase featuring the Sega Genesis Miniser and Mega Mouse. Ooh, that was yes. pushed back from last week, and I'm looking forward to it even more now. Same, These same. Ga- these are going to be weird games, games I've never seen before. I'm going to be experiencing them for the first time, and maybe you will be too. So please join us. Alex, give us a little wrap-up. I'm going to look for a raid target. Okay, if you'd like to support what we do, you can pitch in five bucks a month and get access to our Wednesday polls. Our, you can go, ugh, let me try that again. You can support us on Patreon.com for $5 a month and get access to our weekly polls. This week you chose, well, last week you chose to do the Menacer. And thank you for that. I'm very excited to play those. We're also on YouTube, youtube.com slash retropals. Um, no, hot, no new highlight this week, but you can look there for a lot of our older highlights, some old stuff we've played, some things we've done in the past. Real, uh, And it's on YouTube instead of Twitch, so it's easier to look at. My brain has seeped out of my ears because I played so many games. Finally, last but not least, we are on Twitter, twitter.com slash retropalshq. We post when we go live there, when we have new videos up, and all that good stuff. So if you're on Twitter and you want to see... When we go live, do check us out there. And I think that's it for me. Give me a second. I'm watching, okay. Post, I'm watching Post Malone. He's got something to tell me. All right. Also, we have a Discord. If you want to uh, chat with other fans of the show, do check that out. Okay. We're doing it. The decision yeah. is made. We are rating Kim Justice, one of my favorite YouTube documentarians. She is playing a whole bunch of arcade games right now. I love arcade games. Looks like this is MK1. You cannot go wrong with the original Mortal Kombat, in my opinion. So why don't you all go say hi, have a good rest of your day, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See ya, folks.